one of the things that, um, that you guys have done really well is TV Everywhere. Um, and of course, it's still pretty early in the game, still mostly programming issues. But sure. like, why don't you kind of paint a vision of what you see for today, but kind of going forward? Well, actually, we've actually been pretty successful with our Watch TV Everywhere uh, offering that we have today uh, in conjunction with NCTC and Massillon Cable. Um, we have approximately 10% of our subscriber base now that's actually signed up and watching uh, Watch TV Everywhere. Uh, what's amazing is it's when we first launched TV Everywhere, you know, ESPN, Watch ESPN was one of the biggest um, uh, usage from a Watch TV Everywhere standpoint. However, recently, within the past three months, we launched uh, Disney, Disney and Disney Junior. And so uh, Disney Junior is actually has taken over the lion's share of number of accesses. So uh, the kids, the kids have been super excited uh, about the Disney Junior and Watch TV Everywhere experience. So again, we've, uh, uh, we, we're, we, we're really happy that we've deployed you know that product and right now are you offering it uh, only within the home or can you be outside the home and receive it as long as you have connected to the internet you can do you can access the watch TV everywhere uh, and so we that's that's one of the benefits you know of it again it's watch TV everywhere it's really anywhere everywhere on anything whether it be an iOS uh, tablet or smartphone Android tablet or smartphone or even uh, Windows platform uh, as well so you're getting a lot of the program restrictions from a few years ago have kind of gone away. Has well, um, a lot of our content now is um, is is written where you can uh, utilize Watch TV Everywhere. There's only a, f a certain number of authentication providers uh, that are uh, that have the restrict that have everything in place to be able to provide that type of content. So really, you know, we're streaming that content straight from their website, but utilizing the authentication that's provided by uh, you know Massillon Cable with the Watch TV Everywhere. So again, we we appreciate all of our, our friends uh, at NCTC and, and Massillon Cable that's uh, that's pushing uh, the Watch TV Everywhere platform. So, uh, what about with your local channel? Have you explored doing that? Because uh, you could do a lot of neat things, I would imagine, with that. Actually, we are. We're working with our partners with Innovative Systems and uh, Inca to basically enable HLS and actually getting our local channels on streaming as well. So, again, when you mentioned the, the content rights, you know, we can't do anything with uh, with those cable channels uh, at this point, but we can do our lo local originated content. So, again, we're working with um, with Innovative and Inca to deploy a, a Roku platform to do our streaming of our local content. And so uh, that's interesting. So this might be outside of where you have IPTV. Is that the idea? It is. It is. I mean, we've seen a lot of a cord cutters then in place or, or cord neverers. And so what we want to do is provide that offering. And, and some folks that we have in our environment, you know what? They want their Sunday ticket. And I don't have Sunday ticket. Only DirecTV has Sunday ticket. But you know what? They may have children that's in school systems. They really want to watch their local channels. So this, we're trying to develop them a low-cost alternative to so they can keep their DirecTV for their Sunday ticket, but they can also utilize uh, you know our our service for the local content. So now, when you're talking local content, are you meaning local broadcast channels? So, because I, I was thinking the local generated content no. you're creating. Yeah, and local generated content, meaning our two community channels for the Tennessee and Kentucky, as well as the four school channels that we have in, in place today. So, as long as I approach the subject now, do you think you could, would consider uh, you know be working with your local broadcasters and doing some off-air? We would be definitely interested, you know, in that because again, we're 61 miles from Nashville. So, unless you have a really large antenna uh, and, a, and a nice antenna and a nice booster you're not getting you know good quality you know over-the-air content uh, from from the from NBC CBS and ABC so we're, we would think we're doing them a favor being able to rebroadcast their channels you know to their to their customers yeah and clearly there have been some operators who've uh, shown the broadcasters the way there and the, some of them have seen the light on that uh, ex exactly some of them have have seen the light but uh, unfortunately with this past round of retransmissions agreements you know those are not in place yet that where we can actually do that so I think 2017 is when our next uh, round of contracts come through so you know we'll keep our fingers crossed that we can actually deliver that local content you know over the top as well well and I'm sure you're gonna be doing a lot of other things between now and 2017 so <laughs> I really appreciate your time it's been a pleasure Thanks. thank you very much Ken